Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to render footage with an alpha channel inside After Effects. I've done a tutorial in Premiere Pro and while it's very similar, you know what, there's not a lot of information out there as to how to do this. So I'm going to show you the most important points, particularly uh, rendering with uh, the 32 bits as opposed to 24 bits. We'll get into that. All right, the first step is we're gonna get some footage to demonstrate this. I'm gonna go to, I don't know, my downloads. I've got some green screen footage. I'm gonna drop that in right there. Okay, now drop that into the project panel. I'm gonna right click on it, new composition from selection. All right, I imagine you guys are coming along. I'm gonna shorten this drastically because I might even render this out just to show you the how it works. So let's just go ahead and uh, I don't need any of this crap. Neat, 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 neat. Yeah, let's just reduce it right to here. Sure, whatever. Um, now you're gonna see this is a pretty good green screen. Um, it's pretty bright, well lit, it's uniform. Uh, so let's go ahead and key this out first. First thing you wanna do, uh, I've shown you in the past, but in case you're not sure, go to window at the top, go to effects and presets, click on that and make sure the check mark is showing. Windows and effects and presets should show up over here somewhere go ahead and click on the search bar. Next step, type in key, and you're gonna see a bunch of different options. Historically, it was key light 1.2, but in CC 2015, it's key light plus key cleaner plus advanced bill suppressor. So if you've got the new version, drop this one on there, and it's actually really, really good too. So drop that on there, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, screen color is the next step real quickly here. You should probably know how to do this, but if you don't, just follow along. Click on that, gonna pull out the green Presto. Looking good, looking good. Now, normally in the past, this is kind of what you were left with, and you could go ahead and, you know, mess around a little bit with some toggles, but in this one, we have something called Advanced Spill Suppressor. Click on that, bang, done. Gets rid of the green around the sides. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. This is a studio quality green screen. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Normally people would render this, they go file, export, and let's just go, they would add it to the render queue for example. And you drop it down and it's queued up here. Your output module is lossless, and this is where you're sending it to. Now when you click on lossless, it does not default to render the alpha channel. What does that mean? You're going to get the black and the hand and the light bulb in anything you process. That is probably not what you want, unless you want that black. So here's how you fix that. First thing, you can click on AVI. AVI is okay. It's a very large file though. AVI is a pretty heavy duty codec. Um, and then go down here, and here it is. In video output, click on channels from RGB, drop that down to RGB plus alpha. This is crucial. If that happens and you render this bad boy, you will get the alpha, I guarantee it. Also, let's go in and take another quick look. If you don't wanna do the AVI, maybe the file's too big, you can also try, for example, QuickTime. QuickTime, drop that down, also has RGB plus alpha. They've also got a, it's a bit of a different codec, a um, little bit of a smaller file in, in general. So that's how you render it with an alpha. Now I'll go over to my Premiere Pro here and I'll show you what why this matters. Here is a version I rendered without alpha. Ah yeah, change the sequence settings. This is what it looks like, but I didn't do the alpha channel. So I'll just trim that. And now when I put something on here, like this is the our child might be the reason you drink. So enjoy this bottle on us. Normally, if you slip that in, if it's got a rendered channel, if the alpha's rendered, it would not, it would show through on the outsides, but it does not because the black is there. Let's actually render that thing here quickly, really, really fast. I'm just gonna hit render. I uh, hope this will go really, really quickly. Go, go, go. Where are we gonna send this to? Where do you wanna send it to? E After Effects stuff, sure, sounds good. Come on, render quickly. All right, it's rendering quickly so you guys can just sort of bear with me. All right. Let's go to downloads, let's go to E, After Effects stuff. One of these has an alpha channel, the AVI, it's gotta be the AVI. Gonna drop the one with the alpha channel into the Premiere Pro, and now let's see what happens. Take out this, ah, uh, it's my kid. No, it's not, but if, if it was my kid, he would make you drink, and then press to look. The alpha channel is there because you can see it through the background. I know, I know, I'll be here all week. <laughs> 
But there you go, guys. That is the difference. One has an alpha channel, one does not. Pretty easy to do, but again, there's not a lot of information out there on how to do it. So hope that info helped. I will be back later with some more After Effects Premiere Pro Photoshop Illustrator for tutorials for you. All right, check it out.